For the following exercises, determine whether the equation of the curve can be written as a linear function. All right, so what's a linear function, first of all? What's the standard form for a linear function? Well, it's simply going to be y is equal to mx plus b. Now, recall that the y and the x are variables, all right? And the m and the b represent then two basically constant things. The m stands for slope and the b will stand for the y-intercept, all right? So what's very important here is if I have to determine whether this equation here represents a linear function, I have to basically follow a very, very simple uh, set of steps. The first thing is I have to make sure that this, I have to make sure that this equation is solved, I should say, for y, okay? Which it actually is already. That basically just means you gotta get y on one side of the equation and everything else onto the other. So this is already solved for uh, y, so that takes care of that. And then I have to now identify whether this thing matches up to my linear equation. All right, y equals mx plus b. So I notice the y's match, right? I notice the x looks like it's in about the appropriate place. And then I basically realize that this one-fourth represents the slope. And then this six represents the b value, which is the y-intercept. All right, if you guys also look down on the bottom, I have a series of steps you can follow here, and then I have a memorize this section, which these are concepts I need you to memorize, all right? And you'll want to memorize if you want to do well in the class, all right? Some of the con some of the things you have to you have to just memorize. I don't like to memorize too much, but you know, what does that mean? Well, that's just memorization. What's B? Right, well, that's just memorization. What is slope? What is y-intercept? Well, now that's more understanding, but we have more videos out there for you, all right, that you can check out to understand then what a slope is, what a y-intercept is. So uh, that takes care of that. So this can be. So the answer here is yes. It follows the form beautifully. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. So again, I'm going to write it out my standard linear uh, function. Y is equal to mx plus b. So I realize that the y, it's already solved for y, so that's good. I don't have to do anything. I realize x is right here, so that lines up perfectly. And now what I realize is I have 3, and that looks like the m value, right? So 3 would be the slope. And now I know you might be looking at this and you might be saying, well, wait a minute, this is minus and this is plus, so it doesn't match up. Well, interestingly enough, couldn't I rewrite this to look something like this? Y is equal to 3x plus a negative 5. And now doesn't that look even better? Meaning here's the plus sign, right? And then my B value is negative 5. So in terms of then, so this, the negative 5, I should say, is B. In terms of matching up then the equations, I wouldn't hype, I would not focus on this plus sign. As long as it's plus or minus, all right, you're good to go. In other words, what you could do is you could rewrite the standard equation for a linear function to look something like this. It could be y is equal to plus or minus mx plus or minus b. Now I know when I write this out, I'm sure some of you and even myself, I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, this looks more complicated now. I don't like it. Uh, I, I do agree. I don't know if this is the best way to kind of represent it, but it kind of gives you all the possibilities that uh, you could have. The slope could be positive or negative. It doesn't matter. And the B could be plus or minus here. It doesn't matter. That's basically what I'm saying. So don't focus on that. Just focus on the Y, MX, and B. Okay, make sure they're in that arrangement. Moving on, last one. So let's take a look. So now I have to make sure this equation is solved for Y, which it is already. And now I'm going to write this out. Y must equal MX plus b. So the y matches, right? And now an observer might say, well, the x matches too. Well, but a careful observer would say, is this x the same thing as x squared? And the answer to that would be no. They are not the same thing. So although this is x and x is here too, there's really two x's there, right? So that does not match. I could rewrite this even, and I could rewrite that as something that looks like this. y is equal to 3 x x minus 2. I know that doesn't look, uh, you know, quite normal, but it's totally valid. Now, this definitely doesn't look like y equals mx plus b, right? This would be y equals mxx plus b, which, it, it you know, the linear equation here is not. It doesn't have two x's in there. And therefore, I can now state that this function, I know my writing's all over the place, I apologize. Uh, however, hopefully, hopefully you can follow here. So I can, uh, I can conclude now this is not a linear function. It is not.
a linear function. All right. And I didn't write that this is, but I'll write that now. All right, guys. So listen, hope that helped. If it did, help us out. Subscribe. We got more videos coming to you. We love helping you guys. And uh, we appreciate your viewership very much. Take care.